You know, people reach out to us all the time from all around the world, and they wanna know what is the big appeal to the Cape Coral area. And so today we're gonna to talk to you about everything you could possibly wanna know when it comes to life on the water here in Cape Coral. Yes, this is actually one of our favorite subjects to talk about and one of the major reasons that we moved to this area. So whether you enjoy pleasure boating to your favorite restaurant or fishing or beaching for the day, um, Cape Coral certainly has a plethora of options to offer you. Yes, it does. And if you find this video valuable, please hit that like button, that subscribe button and that bell icon and you'll be notified whenever we put out new content about living on the water here in Cape Coral. Yeah, guys, and if you think someone else that you know would find this content valuable, please feel free to go ahead and share it with them. You and me stuck on the ocean now, nothing but waves in this spilling in. I want to dry up, but to just keep on going, don't you? Let's get right into it. Uh, let's talk about pleasure boating. Shall we? Um, so things to do on the water, guys, in Cape Coral. A lot of people love to boat right up to restaurants and go out to eat. And the first restaurant I'm going to talk about is actually the Boathouse Tiki Bar and Grill. Now, that's located at the Cape Coral Yacht Club, and it overlooks the Cape Coral Beach area and the pier there. It's a wonderful place to hang out on the water, and it's actually a huge tiki bar where you can get a cocktail or have lunch and uh, listen to live entertainment. Yes, and let's not forget about Tarpon Point. Uh, Tarpon Point's this huge development that's very, very nice in Cape Coral. And when you go there, you can go to the Naughty Mermaid and grab a cocktail, or you can go to Marker 92 or High Tide Social House for lunch, or you can go to uh, Gulf Coast Fudge Company for ice cream and that's a great one for the kids. Oh yeah, for sure. Now let's talk about Cape Harbor. Cape Harbor has a lot of restaurants too, a lot of entertainment. They have boutique shops, a um, couple of restaurants that are really popular there are known as Rum Runners and Fathoms. Yes. And one of the things to get most excited about is the new developments coming to Cape Coral. Um, one of my favorite ones is the Bimini Basin Project, which is a hundred million dollar project that is a mixed use development that will include luxury apartments, waterfront restaurants, and lots of retail shops. Okay, so you can boat right up to those? Yeah, yeah, and you, you were talking about the Seven Islands development. Oh yeah, the Seven Islands is gonna be huge, guys. That's definitely one to look out for. It's gonna take a little bit longer to develop that one, but it is just gonna be amazing and it's gonna bring some much needed fun to the northwest part of Cape Coral. Exactly, and uh, so if you wanna know all there is to know about the new uh, developments coming into Cape Coral, watch our top three developments video where we dive into those and when you can expect those to open and things like that. Yeah, so let's talk about some things that you can do by boat that's just a little bit outside of Cape Coral, but you can take your boat from Cape Coral to these places. Absolutely. Um, the first one is gonna be downtown Fort Myers. Again, pleasure boating. There's tons of restaurants, boutique shops, lots of entertainment, live entertainment, art galleries, and events that go on there. Yes, and one of my favorite things is Fort Myers Beach. Unfortunately, Fort Myers Beach was ground zero for uh, Hurricane Ian, um, but that is opening up rapidly. And one of our favorite things to do is to boat up on the outside of the island, throw anchor and walk up on the beach there and go to town square. And there's a few things starting to open up. One of our favorite things is Bella mozzarella pizza and, and grill, and um, that's awesome. And then if you want to go to the inside of the island, you can go to uh, Snug Harbor and go up to their marina. You can have a cocktail there and or a sandwich. And whenever you're ready to go hopping, you can go down to Wahoo Willie's on foot right from there and then go to one of our local favorites, which is the Yucatan Beach Stand, because that's where Lona loves to hang out on the uh, swing. At the swing bar. <laughs> At the swing bar, absolutely. Fun, okay guys, yeah. So that's a lot that's open, even though, you know, 
Fort Myers Beach got hit pretty hard. Let's talk about Sanibel. So Sanibel was also really severely damaged by Hurricane Ian. It is in the comeback stage, but right now you can still boat over there. You can enjoy tons of beautiful shelling. It's one of like seashell capital of the world and see a lot of nature. Nature enthusiasts love Sanibel. And there's also the famous Lighthouse Beach right there that tons of boaters love to throw anchor and boat right up to. Exactly. And the next thing that we want to talk about is North Captiva. Uh, that's another one that's one of our favorites. Uh, they call that Safety Harbor. And then once you go into Safety Harbor on North Captiva, you will find Mango's Cafe and Pool and Tiki Bar, which is they got this pool there and a tiki bar. And you can go in there and go in their pool and have drinks and just have a great time. Uh, and then hopefully there's another place called Mainstay Barnacles, which is not open yet, but hopefully they get back open soon. And then there's another restaurant called Over the Waterfront Seafood Restaurant, which is another cool place that you gotta check out. Yes, now the next place I wanna talk about is Cayo Costa. And that's very different than everything else that we just described. It's actually an island, it's a state park. Um, this is one of our favorite places to go, but for different reasons. This one doesn't have a restaurant or entertainment, live entertainment or anything like that. But what it does have is it has white sandy beaches. It has an amazing shell experience and it has that beautiful aquamarine crystal clear water that you can see your feet in. Now, I think it's also important to note that this beach is only accessible by boat, so it's never really overcrowded like the uh, public beaches are. You can pull up to a group of boats and hang out for the day or go to the other end of the island and be totally secluded. Yes, you can. And uh, just north of uh, Cayo Costa State Park is Boca Grande and Boca Grande you can get to by car, uh, but it's very accessible by boat, more accessible by boat from Cape Coral as a matter of fact. And when you go to Boca Grande, there's just so much to do there, but our favorite things are the pink elephant because you can boat right up to the pink elephant. Just a great vibe and great food. And when people come to visit us, that's one of their favorite places to go. And then you also have Miller's on the water, which is an awesome place. Yes, let's talk about Cabbage Key. Now, Cabbage Key is a fan favorite. I, I think that a lot of people have heard of that, even if they haven't been there. And that is the place that you wanna go to see all the dollar bills hanging up in the bar. And you can sit right outside and eat your cheeseburger in paradise. Yes, now let's talk about Yuseppa Island and more particularly the Yuseppa Island social membership, which mm -hmm. is shh, it's an option for us outsiders to get on the island. Right. right? It's a private island or semi-private island. You gotta have some sort of membership to get on there. But uh, if you make it on there, you got to check out the Tarpon Bar Restaurant, which is a really neat place with extraordinary views. That's right. You have to be a member, but they do sell social memberships to outsiders. So that's pro tip. Now, Let's what talk. about diving? Yeah. I know this is one of your favorite subjects. Doug is a diver and a spear fisherman, so you That's can right. tell us where all the fun places to go. That's right. Where's all my fishing and scuba diving buddies at? So uh, Pine Island Sound and Matt Lachey Sound and Sanibel, 80% of that water in that area is three feet deep or less. It's important area for important habitats like mangroves, seagrasses, salt marshes, oyster communities, things like that. And so because you have all those habitats within that area, it makes for some really great fishing. That leads us to the World Tarpon Fishing Tournament, right? Oh yeah, so we were talking about Boca Grande. So in between the north end of Cayo Costa and the south end of Boca Grande, that is where the World Fishing Tarpon Tournament ha happens every year. And it's just not unusual to cruise by and see hundreds of boats out there sport fishing for those huge fish. Yes, and if you like spear fishing and diving or you like fishing around artificial reefs, we have the USS Mohawk, uh, which is a, an artificial reef. Ooh, and then you have the USS nice Bayronto, uh, which was a boat that sunk uh, during World War II, I believe. And then USS Fantastico, which is another boat that sunk at some point. Um, those are awesome places to dive and or fish. And then we have the Edison Reef, which is closer in for all you fishermen who want to stay a little bit closer into the, uh, to the coast. 
And we have the tetrahedrons, the arc towers, the power poles, Sherman's barge and tugboat. And one of my favorites is the Captiva blue hole. And uh, you can dive down in that, down to the edge and see all kinds of colorful fish uh, a lot of times out of the year. That's a lot of options. Yes, it is. I love it. So uh, hopefully you found this video um, very valuable. And if you did hit that like button, that subscribe button. Um, if you just want some ideas of what to do, feel free to reach out to us. Yes, we want to thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. And we're going to go ahead and include a link to our website in the description so that if you guys want to search uh, for you know what's for sale in and around Cape Coral. Go ahead and check that out guys. Let us know if you have any questions. I'm Doug Lugers. I'm Lona Lugers. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in paradise. You and me stuck on the ocean now. Nothing but waves in this filling in. I want to dry up but you just keep on going, don't you?